and welcome back to Neighbor Media. I'm Neat. And today, I wanted to talk about the Disney slash Fox merger that is currently going on right now. And apparently it's in its final, it's being finalized. And that was confirmed by Kevin Feige. I thought I would talk about this because it's, I know it's news and it's not like a trailer reaction or anything like that. But I think it's very important, well to me it's very important considering that I am very much looking forward to the X-Men, Fantastic Four, and Deadpool coming into the MCU, as many of us are. And I thought, you know what, I would give my reaction to this news. Now, apparently, Kevin Feige had an interview recently talking about the deal is being finalized at this moment. And in January, this upcoming month, it will be done. It should be done. And then within six months, they should already have a draft or some type of preparations for these upcoming films. What struck me as very interesting was the fact that he talked about, I don't know if it was per se in this interview, but it was somewhere around where he was talking about how they wanted to work on Fantastic Four first and get that movie on the way before the X-Men, which I think is a very smart plan. And in my opinion, I am more excited for the Fantastic Four to be coming back. Now, it's not that I don't like the X-Men. I really do like the X-Men quite a bit. I mean, hell, uh, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine is amazing. And I did really enjoy First Class. And um, I really enjoyed First Class. Days of Future Past is really good, you know, those type of movies. And uh, I've seen some of the X-Men movies. And they were pretty good, you know? I didn't see all of them. I was never huge on it. But now that it's coming to Marvel, uh, the, you know, the MCU and all that, I am quite excited for that. I actually did hear something very interesting, that uh, Keanu Reeves uh, wants to be playing Wolverine or something in the, in the MCU. Which, I don't mind the idea, but I know a lot of people are going to get really pissed off about that and say, oh, you can't be Wolverine because only Hugh Jackman is Wolverine, but let's be honest. You know, he said he was done, but I did hear a long time ago that, oh yeah, he might come back to play if he's in the MCU, but I don't really know. Regardless, if he doesn't and Keanu Reeves ends up being Wolverine, I can see that working. He's going to have to bulk up a little bit more just to because Wolverine's like huge in the comics. He's a really big dude. So, that, you know, he'd really have to do that. But, I mean, if you've watched the John Wick movies, he really does pull it off quite well. So, I don't see that being an issue. I mean, honestly, that would be really cool. And the fact that this is almost there is just so great. And the day it actually gets announced is going to be really cool. I do think that by the time Comic-Con happens, at least from what I've heard a while ago, they are going to announce Phase 4. And what better time to announce that they're going to be working on uh, a Fantastic Four movie, an X-Men movie, and Deadpool 3, probably. Now, I know you're thinking Deadpool is just going to get rebooted, but like honestly, let's think about this. Deadpool breaks the fourth wall. So... He could just be like in his third movie, he could be like, oh, now I'm at Disney, so yeah, that's happening. Now I'm at Disney, so yeah, that's life. So that's why like a lot of people, including myself, I'm sure believe that Deadpool is going to be the easiest one to explain because, you know, Ryan Reynolds could stay Deadpool. They could do, they could have him show up in like future Avengers movies and things like that. And uh, it's going to be fun. I, I can't wait for that. But yeah. Um, my biggest thing that I'm excited for is the Fantastic Four. And I know that's probably very shocking because a lot of people think the Fantastic Four movies are complete trash. And I would agree with you that the newest one, the 2015 Fan 4 stick, is... Yeah. I didn't want to believe it at first because I was, you know, I'm like, oh, I really love the Fantastic Four. So I didn't want to be like, oh, this is bad, you know? But I agree, it's a bad movie. But, I mean, if I'm going to be honest with myself, I do love the Tim Story. Duology, that's it. It's called a duology. And, um, 
yeah, I don't know. I love the first movie the most, but I don't know. I, I just love those two movies. And I know Marvel's going to do a great job with them, so that's why I'm really, really excited. And I, I just can't wait, you know, because like I did see a, um, I did see a fan casting for it that was pretty damn good. Uh, somebody made a artwork about it. I might put it in the description below, but it, it was really good. It, uh, the cast was John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic, Emily Blunt as the Invisible Woman, Andrew Garfield, as a matter of fact, as the Human Torch, and then John Cena as the Thing. And I'm thinking in my head, you know, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good casting. I think that would work. Another one had, um, that, that guy from Baby Driver. I don't remember his name. I don't remember the actor's name, but like him being the Human Torch. I wouldn't mind that. That'd be okay. Um, and then they had, uh, I, excuse me for not remembering his name. Uh, the guy who's the Sheriff on Stranger Things, but he's also, um, he's also the new Hellboy. I don't remember that actor's name, but him playing the thing. Honestly, if they did that either or, I'd be fine with that. And then there was this whole thing going around about Zach, Zach Efron being the Human Torch. And, uh, you know, I think any of those choices for those characters would be fine. Because they're all accomplished, you know, actors and stuff, so I don't see why not. Now, maybe it won't be John Krasinski and uh, Emily Blunt as, you know, as Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman. I want them to be because after seeing A Quiet Place and going back and watching, uh, you know, John Krasinski play Jim on The Office and stuff, like, I really like, I really like him. He's really good. I mean, granted, I haven't seen everything he's in. I really haven't seen much of these in, but um, he seems to be a very accomplished actor, and Emily, Emily Blunt as well seems to be a very accomplished actress, so, I mean, and they're married too, which helps. I think the chemistry between the characters is very believable. Uh, very, very believable, considering the fact that it will happen, but if anything, um, Phase 4, it's going to get announced, um, it will get announced probably for 2021 is what the hope is, but yeah, I'm really, really excited for that. The next men will probably come out like a few years after that, um, it's going to be a long wait for X-Men fans, but I think it'll be worth it. And uh, I don't really know the situation with Dark Phoenix. I don't know if it's going to get canceled or if they're going to continue it and just make that be the last movie. Because by the time that comes out, the acquisition will be done. So I, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to cancel it and just pay the actors and actresses or what. Or if they're just going to put it out there and be like, this is the last movie. This is the last Fox uh, X-Men movie. And then you won't be getting like an excellent movie probably till 2023 or 2024. I mean, I don't like to be a pessimist like that, but I feel like that's that's going to be the case. Uh, actually, it could come out at the same time. But considering that Kevin Feige did mention they want to work on Fantastic Four first, I'm not really too surprised by that. Because again, Fantastic Four have been getting a bad rep. And considering that there is a following for the Tim Story movies, including myself, you know, that's good and all, but the majority of the audience and the fans really don't like those movies. And they don't like the new one, which is very understandable. Even though the new one had a great cast, but the writing and everything was just terrible. But, and I hate to say that because I really do love these characters, and I actually do want to get into the Ultimate Comics. So, it's a shame, but here's to a bright future in the MCU. I'm really looking forward to it. I might even work on a uh, fan poster for the Fantastic Four MCU and possibly the X-Men MCU and maybe I'll put it up on the channel at some point. Uh, that'd be fun. I really think that'd be a good thing. I think that'd be a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, let me know uh, what you all think below about the acquisition. You know, which property are you excited for to come into the MCU? And. Um, yeah, do you have similar opinions to mine about certain characters and things like that? Or are they different? Let's have a discussion below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Anyways, with that being said, I want to thank you all for watching this reaction to the news about the Disney acquisition with Fox being finalized. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hi, heroes. 
This is Stan Lee coming at you. Want you to know, Marvel has always been and always will be a reflection of the world right outside our window. That world may change and evolve, but the one thing that will never change is the way we tell our stories of heroism. Those stories have room for everyone, regardless of their race, gender, religion, or color of their skin. The only things we don't have room for are hatred, intolerance, and bigotry. That man next to you, he's your brother. That woman over there, she's your sister. And that kid walking by, hey, who knows? He may have the proportionate strength of a spider. We're all part of one big family, the human family, and we all come together in the body of Marvel. And you, you're part of that family. You're part of the Marvel universe that moves ever upward and onward to greater glory. In other words, Excelsior.